one downside to filming as late as I do these days is I could smell the tin. <laughs> mm. Better just get through. So hello and welcome to Dommy Tries This. I hope you got your cuppa. Today I'm using my Stash Tea Dragon coffee mug. The cutouts, you can see that there is embossed dragon and cutouts and all of that. This is one of my favorite coffee mugs. I don't bring it out much because there are so many coffee mugs. However, I felt it went with this look where I decided to have a little fun with it. Just decided to do something a little different. Anyway, uh, in our coffee mug is a brand new tea. This is Adagio Teas. If you remember, I got that little box with my um, Expanse Teas uh, that had a bunch of extra little tea bags. Well, this is one of those bags, and this one has... Rose hips, hibiscus, apple people pieces, people, apple pieces, rooibos tea, ginger, cinnamon, orange cloves, cardamom, natural apple flavor, and natural vanilla flavor. It is a chunky tea. There was not a lot of it in this little bag, however, so I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> it has been steeping for at least four or five minutes, if not longer. So I don't know if it's going to get much stronger by the end of this video, but we're going to go ahead and give her a taste, see how she tastes. I don't think it's going to get any stronger, but we'll just, you know, we'll do our thing. Smells good. There are some strong flavors in this thing, and I'm not getting them. I think I'm getting a hint of the apple, and that's it. Well, we'll have to see if it actually works out. I suspect that the tea, there's just not enough of the tea in there. And each one of these little bags that they sent has a different tea, so I can't double bag it. At any rate, so today we are doing a sample queen. I do not have my sample queen crown anymore, and I have quite a few items of... Um, each two are not samples, and I don't know if I've covered any of these, so hopefully I haven't. They were still listed in my notes. Um, some of them were still in my bathroom being used. There was a number of them in the box. This is the problem with uh, what happens when you um, wait too long to do some of your reviews, is they build up and then you have no idea if they've been done or not. So we're just going to go ahead and go through it and see... <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing that you've seen before. Anyway, so the first thing is this L'Oreal uh, Paris Pure Clay Cleanser. Detox and brighten clay to mousse. Removes everyday impurities, dirt, oil, and pollution. Hi, Sora. The cats have been a bit nuts today, so you might hear a lot of jingling in the background. Uh, at any rate, so I've actually been using this a lot. I want to buy another one. It uh, comes out looking like a loose mask, but develops a nice creamy lather. Leaves skin soft, though slightly dry on my cheeks. That's not unexpected. My cheek, my skin is combination, and my cheeks are the dry part of that uh, combination. Pores look pretty good when rinsed. Uh, like it quite a bit. Used it at night. Uh, used it on a night when I normally use a charcoal or clay mask and didn't feel I needed to use a mask in addition to this. Um, has a number of good clays and charcoals in it. Removed leftover makeup really well. Has fragrance, but it's not all that noticeable. And uh, like I said, I'm planning on buying it again. So it's a very dark... Um, as you can see, it kind of looks... Doesn't want to come out. Kind of looks like a mask, but it lathers up really nicely. I'm going to get a thing. Uh, but it lathers up, it, it smooths out, and then it starts to lather up on your skin. Uh, this I'm using this wipe, so it may not do any lathering. But it does lather up. It does have a little bit of, not a lot. To me, it feels like it does have, a, there we go, we're starting to lather a little bit. 
but it really does develop a nice lather one on on your face and you're using actual water and not a wipe to deal with it i i really do like this i i use it I use it whenever I want to just ha not have to use a mask, one for one. Uh, this will also be what I will finish using, start using when my uh, Paris, I think. I have a cleanser I use specifically for taking off makeup at night, the remnants of makeup at night. Uh, it does a very good job of that. It actually does a better job of that than um, my Derma E. I like my Derma E. I can't use a lot of other cleansers, I've noticed. Uh, if I start leaving my Derma E, my skin and face start having issues. But this seems to work just fine, and it gets rid of all of that uh, extra makeup crap. I know a lot of people aren't into L'Oreal because of uh, uh, they're not uh, cruelty-free, but this is a really good cleanser. So if that's not a concern for you, this would be something I would recommend, especially for makeup days. Next is something I got off of Amazon. This is the New York Biology Dead Sea Mud Mask infused with tea tree oil. Um, this does have dimethicone, but it's way down on the ingredient list. It also has potato starch as the first ingredient, which I think is very strange. Uh, Cornstarch is the third ingredient in a perfumey fragrance that I'm not fond of, but is tolerable. Yeah, that's, that's, whew. <laughs> I haven't actually used this in a while. I ended up giving this to my daughter. She's been using it up, as you can see. Um, in good stuff, it has kaolin, cocoba, mineral dead sea mud in the first six ingredients, and shea butter, hickory, al hickory aloe, tea tree, and vitamin E scattered through the rest of the list. It's a very creamy mask. It applies in a nice thin layer very easily. Very slight sting in areas I've been having issues with or I have had issues with. Dries down, removes fairly easy, skin feels soft and smooth, and only a touch dry on my cheeks. Overall, I like it, uh, but the scent is annoying and unnecessary. I needed very little, so this jar would last a while. Uh, my daughter's been using it, and it's still here, and I'm, I don't even know when we got it. It was earlier this year, I'm pretty sure, but it, yeah, it lasts a while. It lasts a while. <laughs> um... I ended up giving it to my daughter. Um, the fact that it has the starches in it, and I've not seen a whole lot of other masks with potato starch or corn starch or anything like that. Um, and then it has the dimethicone and the fragrance is so strong is what made me finally give it to my daughter. It's an okay mask. It does make your skin feel soft and, and stuff like that. It does seem to be effective. However, it's just, it's just too much of the fragrance and the starches which do nothing and the dimethicone um yeah so that's why i ended up giving it to her i'm not i'm not saying it's a horrible product it is an okay product it's just not a product for me in particular all right so next i have the pearl east matcha green tea and lemon detoxifying charcoal mask i think i used it once and i only used it once because it burned like a motherfucker if you'll pardon me. And even though it fades, once was more than enough on using this. I think I ended up taking this off very quickly. And that's all I can say about this. I, I didn't, I didn't pay it to, I was just trying to get rid of it because it burned and it did fade, but it burned. So no, I think it's the lemon. Uh, lemon can be very harsh on your skin, especially if you have sensitive skin, which Mine is bordering on, so I attempt to use gentler ingredients than say lemon. It's one of the reasons why I can't use uh, one of the, there's an orange one that everybody adores, and it's a moisturizer. I can't use it. I can't use it. It stings. So um, I can't say yay or nay on this. I only used it the one time. It stung on my skin. If you have sensitive skin, I would avoid it. Uh, the ingredients aren't on here, but from what I've seen of Perlis, they don't necessarily have the best ingredients. They have things like dimethicone and stuff like that in it. Um, if your skin responds to them, they're fine, but it's not something I can say yay or nay on, unfortunately. Next is the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay. You know, you've seen some of these in the Ipsy bag, right? Uh, a bit of a sting when applied, but dried down pretty quickly. A dull pink color 
thick but applies easily, starts drying to it, graying out as it dries down, came off easily. I didn't notice anything. I didn't notice anything groundbreaking, not, nothing that encourages me to purchase it. Uh, in fact, I've not, only used it once or twice and haven't used it since. I have some of these little masks. It's kind of sad. Um, you'd think I'd be just digging into them. And some of them I do. There's a, a, at least one or two Doomies that I, I actually got into really well. Uh, some other samples. This was not one of them. It's an okay mask. I can't say it's spectacular. It's not horrible. Uh yeah it's just it's just okay it's, and if i recall sand and sky is a little bit on the expensive side so i wouldn't be rebuying it uh next is the i'm honey deep moisture rescue mask from tony moly this is really loose it's it's thick but it's loose it's almost like it's trying to mimic honey. It's just not that sticky. It's got that golden color to it. Uh, so you have to be careful when putting it on my brush to apply. Feels nice going on, soothing and hydrating, a little cool. It doesn't dry down fully. It gets tacky and sticky, but it comes off easily. My skin feels soft once it's off, but I can't say it feels particularly moisturized. Uh, I like it for the soothing properties, but not enough to repurchase the full size. So... Yeah, uh, it's another one that I'm having to tell myself to use. Um, it's okay. I like the soothing properties when it goes on. It doesn't do much for me when I'm taking it off. I don't feel like it really hydrated the skin at all. Nothing like that. So um, I can't recommend this one really either. I'm not against it. It's okay. But uh, it's not one I'd be rebuying myself. All right, so next I have the one of my I Do Care minis. This is the Cake My Day Hydrating Sprinkle Wash Off Mask. Uh, the smell of this is way, way too sweet. I don't know. I think I let my daughter use this. No. Yeah, this, this is literally like frosting in a bottle, which is not something I want for my face. Uh, and I don't like the things that glitter, etc. in my mask for a number of reasons. They don't um, break down. They cause other issues. And this definitely has that, whoa, this definitely has that glittery thing going on. Um, again, not, I only used it once, I think. Uh, the consistency is nice. It applied easily, but I felt it left what felt like a waxy residue on my skin. So, Again, another no for me, just not interested in it. And I have, for the last two items that I have, I'm trying to rush through this thing. I have two Clarins items. These were sent by a uh, subscriber a while ago. Um, I still haven't played around with the one of the other moisturizers. I have these two. They're very similar to Ipsy bags. I have two of them in my bathroom that um, have skincare and stuff in them, hair care and skincare in them, you know, packets and that kind of thing. And uh, I'm trying to work my way through them, but there's a lot, skincare in particular. All right, so the first one is this exfoliating body scrub for smooth skin. Really didn't like it. <laughs> I have to say, I've tried several different body scrubs and I don't like body scrubs in general, I think. So take this review with a grain of salt. I do not like scrubbing my body. I don't mind using a face scrub as long as it's gentle, but a body scrub is just too much for me. Uncomfortable when using it, too scratchy for me, and it felt like granules didn't all rinse off. Decided to try it on my face. On my face, I love it as long as I mix it with my favorite cleanser. That helps reduce the amount of scrubbies in the sense of what I'm using. So put a small amount of this with my cleanser. I feel like my cleanser is doing a little bit more. Um, face feels soft, smooth, po almost polished. It doesn't deal with my milia as well as some of my mask, but that's okay. Uh, too bad Clarence is on the extremely expensive side. This is nice, and I appreciate that I got to try it, and I'm going to get to finish using it up, I think. And uh, so that's cool, but it's not something I'd repurchase just based on the price. I really liked what it felt like on my face, just the price. <laughs> the price. Uh, last, I have this uh, Hydro Essential 
moisturizer. I tried this both with and without my Claire's. Y'all know I use the Claire's freshly juiced vitamin E mask. Vitamin, C, vitamin E mask. Uh, every night as a serum um, instead of as a mask because it has healing properties in it. It's very soothing. It just seems to help um, my face recover from whatever it's gone through in the day. So I really like to use that. Either way, this one leaves, leaves my skin tacky and never seems to absorb. My skin felt just as tacky in the morning and it wasn't soft at all. My morning uh, water alone rinse left my skin smooth but somewhat dry. After the second try with literally nothing else on my face under it, I decided to not use it again. It doesn't do anything for me and I don't see how it would help uh, dry skin at all because I think this is this blue label is for dry skin and uh, yeah no it, it's not going to do anything for me so this is not something I'm even going to give to any it's this tiny little thing is going to get tossed it's just too small um again I'm glad I got to try it it's just not something that I'm particularly interested in using again uh so in this in this, in this case it's not even a matter of um of the price tag it just it just didn't do anything for something that was supposed to be Hydra Essential, but I am noticing that a lot of the ones that claim to have extra hydration for your skin don't. <laughs> so anyway, so that's getting tossed. Uh, a couple of these are going to go to my daughter. I'll put a couple of them back in my bathroom and, and finish using them up. Uh, but for the most part, uh, the favorites from here would be the L'Oreal and... Um, that's pretty much it. <laughs> L'Oreal would be the favorite. This, If you're going to buy one thing from the whole thing, this would be the one I would recommend. It really does a good job with what it's supposed to do. Alrighty, so that is it for the day, and I hope you like what you've seen. And if you do like what you've seen, please subscribe. When you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload two days a week, and that would be Monday and Thursday. However, we also have bonus videos. We opened Indie Brands way too many. We open indie brands around here, and my son will be getting to opening a geeky type uh, crate or box very, hopefully very soon. If not this month in November, then, ho then hopefully next month in December. Uh, his dad's looking around. His dad's looking around to see what he can find. And um, I also open anything that you send me. Not that you have to, but if you send it. It can be opened here as a bonus video, unless you ask me not to. If you wish, you can put a uh, note in your box and say, please don't embarrass me by putting me on the channel. Or you can join the Dami Tries This Facebook group, which is listed down below, and let me know on there that you have sent me something and would rather not have it opened on the channel. And you won't have to worry about me doing stuff like this, embarrassing anyone. Anyway, I will listen to your request and not open it on the channel. That's how that goes. If you're part of my notification squad, please check both your bell and your subscription to make sure they're both still active. And if you choose not to subscribe, well, I'd understand. I really would. However, you are always welcome back here. And when you do come back, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Alrighty, so this is sat here for 20 minutes. I don't know. I honestly think it was it was a chunky bag. You can see it actually has quite a bit in there. Uh, maybe it's just too delicate a flavor, but we'll find out. Maybe it got stronger. Let's give it a tip and find out. Cat. I'm getting more of the apple. What else is supposed to be in here? I am not getting orange, clove, cardamom, ginger. I'm, I'm, I mean, get down. You're the She knows better. Uh, I'm. I'm getting the apple. I'm getting a hint of spices. Not enough, really. Eh, not interested. I'm sorry, Adagio. Um. I do plan to try some of their other teas, but I wouldn't be repurchasing this one. It's okay. It's, it's not fantastic. I try too many teas, and you have to blow me away, I guess. Anyway, that's it. Hope you have a good one.